Is it because they were like that much better, that much smarter? Yes, it is because they were, they were smarter because they made all these mistakes over here. Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way. I only know the hard way. Hey everybody. Welcome to the whiteboard entrepreneur podcast where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I'm Devin Dickinson. And today we're on part three of my friends, uh, L and D we're going to call them. Um, and it is the learning from your mistakes. And, uh, what's great is if you recall in the first episode, we talked about how they fake it until you make it. They were the ones that went down to Huntington beach and Newport. And before they even had their driver's license, convinced restaurant owners to let them be a valet service and that they had this valet company. And anyways, uh, basically started something very successful in high school. Um, part two was how they had the rise and fall of, a uh, of great company. Um, and, at, they ended up losing the company and or not losing company, but basically shutting the company down in 2008 and then uh, re re uh, uh, starting a new company with the same name in a different state, but doing slightly different uh, business model. And this is so important. And, and in part two, we talked about being true to yourself because they had thought we're never going to be entrepreneurs again. You know, we just want to work for ourselves, but they realize that truly on the inside, that's who they are, that they're entrepreneurs, that they always were going to have to work for themselves, that they would never be satisfied working for someone else. And so they stepped out on and, and started their next company. And this is part three, where we talk about learning from our mistakes. And so L and D are one of the best examples I've ever seen of this because they were in the manufacturing industry. And uh, I guess if you recall in the previous story, they had this for about 15 years, they had somewhere between you know, 80 and hundred employees, very successful. 2008 comes along and basically just brings everything to a halt. Um, they end up being very ethical, shut the company down the right way, but they just shut it down and left, um, and went and decided to work for someone else. After nine months, they started a new company in the same industry, but doing things slightly differently. And I met with them uh, as they were starting up the company for the, the second time. And I said, hey, you know, this is, I'm so excited for you, you know, but you said you were never going to do this again. Why? What's different? What's going on? What's in your head? And they said, well, number one, we realize that we're entrepreneurs and we do have to work for someone. I got to tell them. I was right. I told them that they would do that. So that was, that was fun for me, but they also shared with me that, Hey, um, we realized that with our other company, when we actually had this basically a more or less a year off to reflect upon our prior company, we realized that there were some things that were very profitable in that other company. And there were some things that like, frankly, were not profitable and there were a headache. And we always said, man, if we could do it over, we would do things differently. And that's what they decided to do. And so what happened was they said, Hey, we've learned a lot from our prior failure. And what can we take from that learning experience into our new company? And how can we structure our new company such that we never make those mistakes the same? We, we focus on the profitable areas of the company and we grow. Well, I'll tell you within two years, they never had 80 employees again, but within two years, they were more profitable than they were with 80 employees. Two years. Is it because they were like that much better, that much smarter? Yes, it is because they were, they were smarter because they made all these mistakes over here. Had they never made the mistakes over here, they would have never known how to structure their new company on the far side. And so I'm not telling you that we have to go and shut our company down, right? And then restart a company. But I am telling you that we can learn from our mistakes. We can learn from things that are profitable. And, we can, and it's always a good question to ask yourself, if I was going to start my company over, what would I do differently? And that's important that we ask ourselves that question 
all the time. Like we need to be asking ourselves that question every single year. If I was going to start this company all over again, what would I do differently? And then you don't necessarily have to do what they did where literally they did shut their company down. They went and worked for someone for a year and then they started a new company, but you can make those iterations as you go. You can learn from your mistakes. You can learn on what's profitable. You can learn on, Hey, this might be profitable, but I hate this side of the business. I enjoy this side of the business, right? And that's what they did. They realized that two thirds of what they did on a daily basis, they did not enjoy and the profit margins were this. One third of what they did in the business, they loved and the profit margins were this. So they thought, here's a crazy idea. What if when we start our new company, we only do this part of the business, And guess what? That's actually what they were really good at. They were very satisfied in. And like I said, within two years, I think they had about six employees, but they were way more profitable and doing way better business than they did when they had 80. Now, fast forward, it's been about 12 years or so since they started this new iteration of their company. They are happier than they've ever been. They are wealthier than they've ever been. Um, the people that they work with, they enjoy, um, but they're smaller today than they ever were then, right? But they, they just did things differently. And we all have these moments in our life where we can do this, right? Where we can evaluate our company. We can look and say, hey, you know, maybe I don't need to shut my company down, but I do need to learn from what, what I've done for the last 10 years. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you that 10 years ago, your company looks different than it does does today or should look different than it did 10 years ago because business is evolving. Profit margins are evolving. One of my companies right now is struggling because they've never evolved as a company. They've never changed. You know, they're still doing the same thing today as they did 20 years ago. And it just doesn't work like that. Business has got to change. It's got to evaluate. And I look at that company, I go, man, if I could shut that thing down, shut it down for a year, come back, how would I do it differently? I do a lot of things differently. I don't own that company anymore, but, um, but it's a great example of what we need to do. My, I've learned so much from my friends, L and D. Um, they've been huge mentors to me. I want to take this moment to thank them um, for all they've poured into my life. And I hope to be able to pour what they've done into other people's lives through this, through the Whiteboard Entrepreneur. I'm Devin Dickinson. This is the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, and I hope it helped. Take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button for more content.